in D.C. living next to my brother, um, who I'm really close to, uh, my best friend. And, and now we live together again in another state. And so I spent my whole life with my brother and he spent like me his whole life in Washington. So, um, you know, from the, from high school on and we go for a walk every single morning with seven dogs and we climb this mountain every single morning. And we always talk about Washington, you know, our, where we spend our lives and we have no respect for the people who live there. We don't think they're smart. Both of us think they're stupid. And we don't think that because we saw it on the internet. We think that because we live next to them for 35 years. I have no respect for them at all. Nothing they have done works. They should not be in charge. They're not worthy of it. They're too stupid, actually. So, like, it's just so funny. The, the conceit that they're smart, where they call themselves, I'm a wonk. <laughs> you think I'm smart? They've never read a freaking book. I mean, these are, like, truly dumb people. And somehow they've hoodwinked the nation into thinking they're experts in something. Like, I literally wouldn't hire Anthony Fauci to do anything other than apply for government grants. That's the only thing he's good at. I would not hire him to run a business. I would not hire him to cure my cold. I wouldn't have him give my wife a pedicure. He's not qualified. Like, these people are not impressive. That's the actual truth. 